as a little boy with dreams to conquer the world, I was daily presented with a Nigeria submerged beneath the veneer of poverty, injustice, corruption, and death. A Nigeria where my voice cannot be heard. But no, that is not the real Nigeria. For a generation has risen, engaging their gifts and talents to tell stories that will question the status quo, disrupt the conventional, change the narrative, reconstruct the headlines, and reinvent the future of Nigeria. One film at a time, we will make a difference. Scriptus Great Africa Filmmaking Reality TV Projects. Film as a catalyst for revolution. Showing March 24 to April 21, 2018. Building a corruption-free Nigeria. Hello Lagos, Nigeria, Africa. Welcome to Script to Screen Africa Reality TV Project Focus Nigeria. Using film as a catalyst for revolution. I am Larry. The finalists are all getting geared, yes, prepared for the eviction show proper. Yes, the tension is a bit high in the house right now because they are not going to be evicted on an individual basis. It's going to be in group. But before we bring the eviction show your way, before we join Faith Delicious in the studio, let us have the finalists share moments with Pascal and Majid. And then a surprise package is coming the way of the finalists. They are not seeing this one coming. Talking about the Nollywood actor, producer, filmmaker, Stella the Masses will be coming into the house. Yes, let's see what the reaction of the finalists will be like. It's getting tougher, exciting, and surprising. Don't go nowhere. Stay with us. Screen to screen, Africa. It looks difficult, but somehow the glory is unfolding, right? I'm talking of an A-list actor of over two decades of experience, an acting coach to the core, Nigerian of origin, homegrown, but all the way from the United States. Help me welcome Stella Damaso. <laughs> First of all, what you are doing here, let me tell you in all honesty, is a privilege. I wish that when I started, I had this kind of opportunity. We didn't have shows like this. We didn't have the opportunity of people teaching us or mentoring us. We didn't have YouTube. I've been in the industry since 1994. How many years now will be? 20 something years. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have tutorials. We didn't have acting coaches. We didn't have nada. So what you have is a wealth of information. You have mentors, you have coaching, you have technology at your fingertips. So my question to you will be, what will you do with it? An actor becomes, so that when you have a character, you become that character. You are not acting as the character or imitating what you are, no. You become, meaning if I have a role that I'm, right now I'm in a movie, and my role is totally different from Stella. So I have, once I get there now and I take this off and wear my costume, I have become someone else. So the way I speak, the way I talk, the way I sit, the way I walk, everything has to change to become, not to imitate or be like. Mantra in acting. In acting, do you know what it is? Let me give you an example. Mantra is what you say to yourself in a scene to help you get the emotion whilst you're talking to your co-actor. For instance, you are playing a scene and you have a guy who you're supposed to be madly in love with and he's cheated on you or something. And in real life, you don't know this person, but you have to convince the audience that you, you love this guy so much, but he's messing you up. How do you get yourself to feel that thing if you're not having the real feelings in your heart? That's where mantra comes in. So I'm looking at my boyfriend. Please come. You're not my boyfriend. I'm using you as an example. I know. I know. <laughs> so I'm looking at him, and as I'm speaking my lines, like, buddy, what, what, what did I do? 
But then what did I do? I I don't I don't understand why you would do this why you would do this to me, buddy, because I gave I gave you everything. But then I gave you everything. Why? Now, in my mind, I'm saying, I love you so much. How dare you? Do you get what I'm saying? That is your mantra. Screen to screen, Africa. So I'll say this to any young filmmaker. Your greatest strength is the ability to think in pictures. You must see the scene before you get to set. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've said for years that our, the, our main problem is not our stories. The main problem is what? How we choose to tell them. Because we have peculiarities we are dealing with in this country. That's why I'm saying, because I'm happy to say focus Nigeria. So we, we, the major challenge we have is not the stories we tell, it's how we choose to tell them. And then how you choose to tell them is what I'm saying will come from your own personal thinking after the box. Because at the end of the day, everyone knows is a black magic. So you are not about to make your own camera. Are you getting it? So it's now your own personal. That thing is what I'm trying to do. That, that, that thing, that particular thing that, did, that makes your work stand out, that makes your own craft stand out, is what probably no one can give you. You have to find it. Screen to screen, Africa. Yes, welcome back. Great moment there from all filmmakers, actors who have got in the house. Now the moment we've been waiting for. This finalist in groups will be shooting their projects. Yes, sir. They're having five groups in all and they have the directors already, filmmakers ready to put what they've got in their head to look. Yes, let's see what they've got to offer. Remember, their eviction will be based on their projects tonight. So let's see the behind the scene moment of this great actors, filmmakers on set. Screen to screen, Africa.
as a little boy with dreams to conquer the world, I was daily presented with a Nigeria submerged beneath the veneer of poverty, injustice, corruption and death. A Nigeria where my voice cannot be heard. But no, that is not the real Nigeria. For a generation has risen, engaging their gifts and talents to tell stories that will question the status quo, disrupt the conventional, change the narrative, reconstruct the headlines and reinvent the future of Nigeria. One film at a time, we will make a difference. Scriptus Great Africa Filmmaking Reality TV Projects. Film as a catalyst for revolution. Showing March 24 to April 21, 2018. Building a corruption-free Nigeria. Welcome to Script to Screen Africa, Focus Nigeria, using film as a catalyst for revolution. My name is Faith Onyebujo, but please do call me Faith Delicious. I have someone special joining me in the studio today in the person of Mr. Majid Michelle. You're welcome, sir. Thanks. <laughs> it's good to have you here in the studio. <laughs> um, you've been interacting with the contestants, you know, giving them classes and everything. And like I, we were discussing earlier on, I personally believe you've impacted them. But I'd like to get your thoughts, you know, on, you know, this future filmmakers and actors that we have here in the house. I was um, telling Bright, I said, um, you have very special people here. I was completely taking aback by their responses and, 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 and their points of views on certain things they came across with. I thought, these are not ordinary filmmakers. Mm. Very powerful people in this place. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> um, I'd like to get your thoughts, though, on, uh, you know, we're looking at a uh, focus to screen Africa and we're talking about you know making a difference a positive change I'd like to get your thoughts on a corruption free Africa starting let's start with Nigeria <laughs> how do you think you know the, you know is it possible and how do you think we can do that I'll, I'll tell you um, how long do I have to talk <laughs> my family your family, his family, are individual families. Mm -hmm. When you put these families together, it's called a community. Yeah. You often hear people say, that is a bad community. This community is not good. There is no such thing as a bad community. People make up communities. Yeah. People are bad. Yeah. Not the community. When you put up our families together, it's called a community. When you put those communities together, it's called a nation. Mm -hmm. True. When you put those nations together, you have the world or a continent yeah and the continents together becomes the world yeah so when you take the world comes in to a continent comes in to a country comes in to a community uh -huh. comes in to a family to a family <laughs> so the family is as small as a unit of society. Of society. Yeah. And it's a very fabric that holds the entire thing. So when you look at a bad community, you are actually looking at bad families um. that make up the community. Street to street. 
A passionate actor is the actor that wake up in the middle of the night and just pump on it, yes, jump on it without being scared. Yes, can you do that? Do you love the camera lights and action like I love it? If you don't, then go back to sleep and dream again. Well, this project will determine if this finalist will be moving over to the next stage of the competition. But before then, let's join Faith Alicia's in the studio for a moment of truth. The eviction show proper coming your way. Faith, are you ready for this one? We are set. Screen to screen Africa. Welcome to Script to Screen Africa, Focus Nigeria, using film as a catalyst for revolution. My name is Faith Onyebujo, but please do call me Faith Delicious. It's the third eviction show tonight on Script to Screen Africa, and it's one with a big difference. Tonight, the finalists are not nominated on an individual basis, but as a group. Hi, Faith. Good evening. Well, um, hi, guys. Hi. Okay, so we are ready. Yes, sir. The group leaders are right here to the air tonight and of course we have the directors five groups are ready to face their fears tonight it's a moment of decision making some members of this group will be making it back to the house and some will be going home from here so we're ready are we not ready for this ready. good so faith let's face it thank you so much landry i can see that they're very very tense we'll ease that tension in a bit when we start watching their presentation but don't move a muscle we'll be right back after the break screen to screen. Africa. Yeah, um, I, I agree. I mean, like, um, I have issues with, you know, technical aspects of, of, the, of the thing. But, you know, I, I think you, know, you have a very strong directorial voice. What I can perceive is during their editing, the <coughs> they have, they were trying to push it. Because if you watch the way the editing was done, there were so many, several cuts trying to reduce it. So. I believe they felt they can actually do the magic in the editing. <clears throat> On the project, that's more of what um, kind of stuff we want to do. It's, it hasn't scored you 10-10 on every ground, but the fact that the concept is unique, is creative, I, I think I like that too. Mom and Dad left you in my care. Excuse me, you don't say that to an adult. Do you know film have the ability to enlighten the people? I like the concept, not because it's talking about, not just because it's talking about film as a catalyst for revolution, which is the theme of this project. Um, for that, I, I, I don't think this um, um, statement is sentimental in that regard, no, but um, your ability to tweak your story in that dimension also shows creativity. I like that you, you trim down the script. <laughs> uh, so nice when people, you know, pay attention to these little things. All right, um, I thought it was a, I thought it was a great effort. Screen to screen Africa. This is Script to Screen Africa, Focus Nigeria, using film as a catalyst for a revolution. I'm your host tonight on the third eviction show of Script to Screen Africa. My name is Faith Onyebujo, but please do call me Faith Delicious. We have our finalists all lined up, ready for their presentation. Remember to be part of what's going on on our social media platforms. Follow and like our social media handles scrolling on the screen. And also for exclusive footage, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd like to invite uh, Group 4 for their presentation. They have a short film titled Patriotism, directed by Nuhu Dalyop. The waste of our precious time. Uh, Chad, they say it's only five minutes away from here. He has been to 12 other African countries. On foot. He has no affiliation with any sex whatsoever. He seems like straight edge. <laughs> Sometimes we fail to recognize a lie, even if it stands staring at us in the eye. Richie, he has dead men in his pocket. I had issues with your cinematography a bit, and that's the, the thing. And I, and I told you that, that if you know that you can't do cinematography and direct, leave someone else to do the directing. Because you still have, you had those shaky <coughs> shots that took away. Sometimes the shakiness worked, but other times it took away from what was happening. The concept is strong, but I, I feel it's, it's ambitious. So if you don't pull it completely, it shows the lapses. That's what I think about it. But every other thing, cinematography, lighting, acting, and all that, they were good.
Schon so. Yes, sir. I, 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 have, I have issues with the technical. You know, I, I, I think you could have done better with the technical. By technical, I mean the sound and the camera. You know, um, I get, you know, trying to maximize space, you know, and trying to get everything in one shot. You know, it's, it's recommendable. But if, you know, if you don't pull it off well, again, which is the thing I always say, like, when you're doing something, do the little, do the basic well. You know, if you try to do the big ones and you don't do it well, you know, it can, it can be a problem. Street to street, Africa. Um, Faith, I thought we have the muscle, I thought we have the strength to take this. But I feel like I'm the one up for eviction here myself <laughs> on behalf of the finalists. Guys, come on. <laughs> What's going on? You <laughs> guys good, right? Good mm. Dummy boy, are we good for this? Thank you, Landry. Well, the results are in, and we'd like to use this moment to appreciate our judges for a job well done tonight. Thank you so much, sirs. Thank you. I guess there's nothing left to do but uh, find out who makes it to the next level and who doesn't. This is the moment of truth. The verdict from the jury tonight. The groups that have made it to the next level. Group three. Yes. Yes. Group two. <laughs> and group four. Congratulations. You've all made it to the next level. This time around, we had no votes. So nobody's been saved by votes. But the Academy, who did the Academy save? We'll find out when we return from this break. Screen to screen, Africa. Welcome back to Script Screen Africa, Focus Nigeria. We're about to find out who makes it to the next level. Who did the Academy save? Time to open the envelope and find out who made it to the next level. This group has made it to the next level, saved by the Academy. Congratulations. Group five. Would the remaining group please stand up? Group one, I'd like to inform you that tonight, the road does not end here for you because you've also been saved by the Academy. So congratulations, group one. <laughs> No one goes home tonight. Everyone has done well, but it also makes the competition really tight and really stiff. Well, that's all we have for you tonight on Script to Screen Africa, Focus Nigeria, using film as a catalyst for revolution. Be part of what's going on on our social media platform. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like our Facebook page. Also, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for exclusive footage. My name is Faith Onyebujoba. Please do call me. Be delicious. Have a good day. Screen to screen, Africa. Group one. Group one and group five were the last group saved by the academy, right? Yes, but everybody knew it was obvious that group five, you were going home tonight. It wasn't group one that was going to go home. You had the last, you know, the least score. Even though when the saving by the academy saving was called, Group five was called first before group one, but that's just, um, uh, it's a dynamics, right? It doesn't mean they had a higher score. Of course, group five, you know your performance tonight. 
wasn't very great. And one of the reasons I think you you know what uh, misunderstandings you have within yourself. It will always play out. It will always show. Janine, where are you? Great screenplay. I love your screenplay. Awesome. Anita Bada, where is she? Your best screenplay so far. Now, I, I, I want to share that. Uh, Anita, your group three. It looked like your group was going to go home. That's not, as in tonight, you proved us very wrong. The fact you were six, it didn't affect anything. Your actors were too strong. Your, your screenplay was amazing. Your directing was good. Okay, so we never saw the whole six um, person thing come into play at all. Um, your, your DP, where is he? The guy who volunteered himself. TJ, nice. Nice one, right? Nice. Now, what, what, what you do, no matter what you do, see, once you get into the post-production room, don't permit any out of focus. Out of focus, even till now as a director, I still do stuff. Sometimes you, it can go out of focus. We all have, you know, it's not as though when you film, it's perfect. But when you get into the post-production room, don't allow the errors to show. Like when um, Judge, Judge's dialogue, when Judge was delivering his dialogue, his dialogue was great, it was awesome. So those little, little mistake, it happens, as in the best, even Majid, when he's taking lines on set, he, there are some he will miss, but the editor doesn't allow it show, right? So you don't allow the mistakes of any, whether the actor or cinema or whoever shows. So you make sure in the edit room, you cut it out. It's very, very important. Screen to screen, Africa. As a little boy with dreams to conquer the world, I was daily presented with a Nigeria submerged beneath the veneer of poverty, injustice, corruption, and death. A Nigeria where my voice cannot be heard. But no, that is not the real Nigeria. For a generation has risen, engaging their gifts and talents to tell stories that will question the status quo, disrupt the conventional, change the narrative, reconstruct the headlines and reinvent the future of Nigeria. One film at a time, we will make a difference. Script is great, Africa filmmaking reality TV projects. Film as a catalyst for revolution. Showing March 24 to April 21, 2018. Building a corruption-free Nigeria.